numbers up, everyone. Tally here. Castle Nathria heroic testing continues. Today's fight is amazing. The Council of Blood Dance Dance Revolution DDR fight. I know what you're thinking, but don't think what you're thinking because it's probably not what you're thinking, but it is what you're thinking, but it's not to the extent of like, you know, when, you know, y'all kids were playing DDR back in the day, or if you still play it today, I don't know, man. Honestly, I'll tell you right now, I've tried that. I tried playing DDR once at an arcade. And I just like busted my ass. I think I twisted my ankle. And I'm like, you know what? I'm too old for this shit, man. I can't be doing it. But here we go. So there's three uh, members of this council. You have uh, Nicholas. You have Baroness Frida. And then you have Starvos or Starv Stavros. So pretty much once you take any of these ads to 50%, you start the Dance Dance Revolution. And you'll see it easily here in the video when we get to that point. Uh, it's pretty fun. Um, we, I mean, honestly, because of the key binds and the way I set up my UI and a bunch of other people in the guild too, we just honestly just clicked because you have to hit either like left up, down, right. And it's like, you know, uh, sachet, you know, you know, prance, you know, shimmy, right. Yeah. You know, it, it's like, but I didn't really like it too much because all it is, is you doing the slash dance in the middle of the, in the middle of the, uh, uh, of the floor if blizzard would have just taken a little bit more time to kind of make it so your characters um maybe do the actual moves like I, like my idea would have been okay once we go into the little beam of light or the little dance um i guess circle we would call it once you go in there right then maybe it transforms you into like a venthyr from revendreth like one of them like, you know, vampire or whatever. And then you get to see the actual moves themselves. Instead, it's just everyone just like slash dancing. And uh, maybe they'll improve it over time. Who knows? Now, let's talk about some of the abilities here. So pretty much once you kill off one ad, because basically you kill one ad off and all the and the other two ads get their full health back. We've seen these kind of mechanics before in previous encounters. Um, so you have to choose which one you want to burn down. You can either choose to burn down ads 50%, 50%, 50%, then dead, dead, dead. Um, several times we just went with like just killing one ad off but when you kill one ad completely uh one of the other two council members uh get empowered uh with anima or infused with anima right that's like you know that's when one member's dead then when you kill off two council members the last member standing gets empowered with anima so yeah like baroness frida was really good for a prop pally so let, let's talk about her now, you, you'll see as I'm tanking her, she does an ability called Drain Essence, right? So this is the caster drains her target's essence every second for six seconds with each stack, reducing the target's maximum health by 1% for a minute. Now, you can actually immune this with spell warding. Just pop spell warding before she casts her Drain Essence and it just won't apply to you. I, don't, I, I think she just cancels out her casting. But the better part for a prop pally, and I thought this was really good, and there's actually conduits that can help with this and talents as well, is that you can actually let that stack up to like, let's say, um, you know, I think I got as high as like, uh, I want to say like 36% maximum health reduced. And then just bubble off the deep, <laughs> just bubble it off. You can actually bubble off Drain Essence completely. So you, and, and she doesn't really hit that hard as long as you're dodging abilities and not being hit by the other council members' abilities. All you gotta do is just, you know, g g wait till you're about like 50% of your maximum health, which for me was probably like 20 something K and then just bubble it off and then you're good to go. Then just word of glory yourself and then rinse and repeat. But by that time, she should be dead. I think sh the play is to kill her first because you don't want to deal with her infused anima powers, which is uh, pretty gnarly. Like, if one council member is dead, what she does is the caster exiles her target to the edge of the arena, making uh, marking them with a Venthyr rune when the rune ex uh, expires and inflicts shadow damage, hitting uh, five times amongst players within 10 yards. So that, one, that one's pretty rough. Um, so some of the other just normal abilities that's going on during the fight, there's something called oppressive atmosphere, so pretty much... Um, as the fight goes on, there's just shadow damage being stacked on the raid for the duration of the raid. It's just constantly being stacked. I'm not sure if other classes or specs can immune it as well. Um, you know, that, that one also uh, is, is pretty gnarly. Uh, not, not one that, you know, you'd probably want to deal with. Now, um, Nicholas, we tried burning him down a bit. So what he does, he just does something called tactical advance. 
uh, pretty much. All he does is uh, he charges at a random player, inflicting physical damage and knocking down any player between him and his target. And then he has... Um, now, when he gets infused, though, so let's say we kill Baroness and it's just him up. He does something called Unstoppable Charge, which is he does like 164,000, 170,000 shadow damage in a cone split, split among his enemies hit. Now, as a prop pally, if you have bubble up by the time you get to him last, you probably have spell warning for one and maybe bubble for the next, but you could probably just solo it with cooldowns and not have anyone uh, have to split the damage. So you could just call for your raid to come in. You'll see it during the fight that we actually did call sometimes um, the raid to come in and just like soak the damage. If not, I was able to bubble or spell ward uh, a bunch of it. Uh, now, Lord Stavros, he does evasive lunge, which is really annoying to deal with, right? Um, basically, with that ability, um, he just kind of like just starts charging. Lav you know, he charges through you, right? And, and it's kind of hard because you have to aim it so that it doesn't hit anybody. So if you're pretty much by the dance, by the, the stage, you can just have him uh, evasive lunge toward the stage, and that's that. Now, if you try to stand on the stage, though, we notice you take a lot of damage. Like some sort of shadow damage goes out if you try to use the stage as a as a way of dodging abilities. And as the fight's going on, you'll see that there's like these little Venthyr dancing around, waltzing uh, in circles, uh, and they just kind of like it's like a it's like a DPS, you know, it's like a wall, like a Skitra wall, or that fight with the uh, the the Covenant chicks in um in Antorus. You know, you just want to not get hit by the wall. Uh, it's easy to dodge, though. It didn't seem like it was really that crazy. Um, but it was a pretty fun encounter. I was a little disappointed by the Dance Dance Revolution stuff. I really wish they would have kind of, like, expanded on that. But, um, yeah, and there's also... Let's see. What else do they do? I think Lord Starvos, when he's empowered at the end, he, he does something called Dancing Fools where the caster calls all waltzing Venthyr to the dance floor, performing their own waltz of blood for 30 seconds. These dancers, lost in their world of rhythm and movement, are only susceptible to crowd control effects and not damage. Um, so yeah, that, that's, that's a pretty crazy one as well. And then um, there's also a mythic ability called uh, Dark Recital. I don't think this is mythic. I think this is when one council member dies. Yeah, when you kill one, Star Wars does Dark Recital, which I think is a funny ability. Uh, the caster assigns two players as dance partners, inflicting two shadow damage every 0.3 seconds while they are not standing next to each other. So pretty much. Uh, and then additionally, each chosen dancer will suffer 15 shadow damage every 0.5 seconds if they do not keep moving. So pretty much someone is the lead. Someone is leading the dance, and you have to just keep moving along with your partner and not stop uh, for that duration. So, I, I mean, it, it's a pretty funky encounter. Lots of abilities. But, str str you know, from a strategy standpoint, um, I, we believe that Baroness was just, like, the worst one to deal with um, because she just does, like, a lot of nasty shit. Uh, Scarlet Letter is her infused ability. Uh, so, she, you know, she basically just casts her target to the edge of the arena. Uh, I think we mentioned this before, and there's a, a bunch of shadow damage that goes out. And if she's double empowered. Um, she does something called Dredger Servants. So the caster demands the Dredger wait staff uh, to gather in a ballroom armed with platers of uh, hors d'oeuvres. And then uh, they throw food. The casters throw uh, fancy hors d'oeuvres at random players inflicting nature damage. It, it, it's a shit show. If uh, if you leave her alive, so it, the play was definitely to get rid of her. I was happy for that because that means that I could just kind of like just take a shit ton of her drain essence stacks and just bubble it off at the end. But let me know what you guys think of the encounter. Uh, this was supposed to be the DDR boss. It's kind of cool. I mean, it's not like uh, to the extent of Ashara. You just have to click the right buttons. I'm not sure on Mythic if um, there's any special. Um, I'm trying to see if there's actually like a mythic part of this, uh, the dance that you have to do. I, I don't think there is. I'm, I was trying to look at the journal earlier, and I think it's uh, just pretty much hit it. Maybe it's faster. You have to hit the buttons faster on mythic. But uh, yeah, it was just Prance, Boogie, Sashay, and Shimmy. And if, oh, and if you got it wrong, so a failure to perform the correct dance steps during the dance is extremely embarrassing. Uh, stunning the player for 30 seconds. So you get stunned. And it was also bugged out too. People were in the circle to start dancing and then they weren't able to actually um, 
how do we say that they, they weren't able to like perform any of the abilities and they, they just died but let me know what you think ddr boss uh seems like a pretty easy encounter uh this is i believe the the seventh encounter the seventh fight um of this raid we'll see how that goes thank you for watching y'all once again catch the raid testing on twitch.tv slash tally having fun every day streaming wow every day but still loving y'all out on youtube man peace out hasta luego